until we can actually finalize our paperwork in other locations, we can't just move our vehicles. Okay. You know, I, I'm not arguing with you. I met a girl at a bar that had a fake ID. I don't care, sir. So you're good. I don't care. It's that's not your even, problem. It's not even that. Your issue, it was that's not battery. Mine. I touched her while we were kissing. That's not my issue today. I understand. My I issue understand. today is this. So, when you're moving your vehicles? Oh, well, hopefully Monday. Or this Monday? Well, we have to finalize the paperwork tomorrow, so we're hoping by the end of the week. Yeah. For some reason, Jeremy always wants to bring up the fact that he's innocent and people are like, I'm not even here for that. I wasn't even talking about that. So this video is going to contain Tony, the landlord. Uh, it's going to be containing Jeremy DeWitt, Randall Brokus, uh, uh, the doppelganger Jeremy DeWitt. You know who he is? Jay DeWitt. And it's also going to be having this other very aggressive man. I don't know who he is. He seems to be aggressing Jeremy and aggressing Tony. So neither one of them says that they know who the guy is. So I don't know who this guy is either. Um, I have other videos of him as well. And then it also includes a visit by the Orange County Sheriff's Office coming because Jeremy called them, of course. So uh, Jeremy's landlord is telling Jeremy, you can't park your trailer here. I'm going to tow it if you keep parking it here. And Jeremy says, I'm calling the police. Thanks for watching. Check the link in the description for my Patreon page if you want to support me and uh, my 1-800 number if you want to call me. Like, link, everything. Here's the video. Sat there and told me that the last guy was this, the last guy was that, the last guy was this. And then come to find out he was the one that was doing it. I'm gonna swap my batteries real quick. Do whatever you want. It's part of what I do, it's part of my business, so at the end of the day, it's my rent, so. That doesn't matter. Neither are the cars. All the cars are not registered to me either. You gonna tow those? Oh, I've used a fictitious name. Well, you see, you think you know something. That's good.
Yeah, make sure you videotape it. Because I paid my rent. So I can park whatever I want here. I'm sorry? Oh, okay. Then I'll, you'll be paying for it. And then we'll have you charged with the theft. You can, you'll pay for it when it get out. I'm sorry? No, no, I don't think so because I paid my rent, so this is my area. That doesn't matter. It does matter. No, it doesn't. That's my other business. It so it doesn't matter. matter what you say. I paid rent here. I chose to put this vehicle here. Okay. Well, your brother just got from me saying that it was his choice. I don't give a fuck what he said because it's my business. Yeah, go ahead. Just sit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me know. Let me know. You sit. Yeah, let me know. Okay. Wait for me then. Because I can promise you it won't be the right one. Don't you worry about it. Nothing like threatening your tenant. That's nice. Threatening the person that paid their rent. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Put some bass in your voice so we can hear you. Yeah, that, yeah that's right. That's right. And you know what? The funny thing is, is my 30 employees actually do what they're told. I'm glad that you have money. That's great. I appreciate that. That's great. I can't move what? What? Yeah, because it's my vehicle. Okay. You have the keys to it. He's calling and gave you the keys. You're putting the ball up there now. Right. But it's going to still get towed one way or another. If you tow it, then you're, you're stealing a vehicle. Hey, it's going to get towed because it's not supposed to be on this property. That's where you're wrong. Okay. I paid my rent, so this is well, where I'm having my Well, when you can show vehicle. that you own this, then it'll get I can show you anytime. Get towed. I guess you need to be getting the paperwork out. Oh, no. That's fine. Show me where that, that gives you authorized the right to tow my vehicle when it's I paid my vehicle. rent. Oh, it is. You're charging him rent for no, putting not. this up here. No, I'm not. Okay. It's not your vehicle. No, I'm not. It's not your property. Oh, okay. You can't bring other people's property on something. That's where you're wrong, and that's I'm not bringing somebody wrong. else's property. That's my that's vehicle. You're wrong. It's my property. Mm -hmm. That's where you're wrong. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, sir. All the truth will come out at the end. All right. I got one question. Why? 
You chose to do what you did. Police, or she called the police, and I wrote the witness statement. I wrote it on your behalf. But yet your fucking lawyer talks shit, and then you want to talk to me like you think you know me? Why would you do this? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're already moving. U-Haul's already at the new office. We're already good. Don't worry about it. You chose to treat me like you did. You chose. You're the one that filed the eviction notice on a lie. You filed the eviction. Tony, you filed the eviction notice. Tony, you filed the eviction notice on a lie. The lawyer even told me it was you. Did you just hear that? He said, I didn't file the eviction notice. <laughs> I didn't file the eviction notice because he filed it under the company that he owns. So the company he owns, which is a DBA, like Metro State. Yeah. I own Metro State. So he's saying because automotive, whatever it is, did the eviction, it wasn't him. But it says right on the eviction notice that he did it. Yeah, TC Holdings, that's it, yeah. And then he wants to go, why did you do this? Tony, you're the one that's filing the eviction. He's like, I didn't file the eviction. See, he's full of shit. Just like he's telling this guy something, he's probably telling this guy all kinds of stuff. Like, we didn't pay, we didn't do this. So this guy's, because I did the same thing. He told me the same thing about those Spanish people. And I wasn't rude to them because I'm, you know, I'm not. But he told me the same thing about those Spanish people that they didn't pay rent and this and this and that. And he evicted them and all this. And then I found out from the deputy that came here for the woman he beat up. The deputy advised me he's been out here multiple times because he was throwing their property out in the field. <laughs> yeah, we're legally allowed to have whatever we, whatever we want here. Right. We pay for rent. Yeah. End of story. I, dude, I don't know. And then that guy's saying we didn't raise our voices or anything. He was over here, all right, well, I'm on the phone with 911. Oh, I'm that one. I'm, okay, great. Keep threatening me. That's fine. Keep threatening me. I don't give a fuck who I am. What record I have. I paid my rent. I paid my dues. I gave my money. This is bullshit, man. This is the worst. I've never dealt with this before. <laughs> Unbelievable. And I got some fucking scumbag taking pictures of my vehicles and my tags like he's some fucking cop. Unbelievable. So he shut the timer off. No, he moved the locks to go by the house. Right. So he came and adjusted the timer. Yeah. We, I need a statement saying that that you have you saw him do that. I we. Police, but nobody else has the access to the property but him. It's whatever. funny thing is, is they're trying to talk like they're fucking this is a civil matter so at the end of the day it's civil so if you tow my truck now you're committing a felony by stealing because right now it's civil you touch my shit now it's a felony so because one there's no sign out there that says towaway zone two I paid rent and three it's mine
looks like he said he was going to move the bus. Right. I know. I know. I know. You know, the thing is, is at certain points you stop arguing, you know, yeah. you just stop arguing. But then he wants to stand there. You heard him. You're my witness. You heard him say he didn't evict me. Yeah. That his company did. Okay. His lawyer talked to my lawyer and said that Tony said he doesn't want me here. So. Dispatch asked me who he was. I said, I don't know, some dude boy. I don't. <laughs> I guess it's he's, he's this dude boy. I don't know. I don't know who he is. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Oh. I know we got we got so much happening coming we just need to this right here is a serious speed bump in my day yeah. this right here the whole lying about the rent taking my money and saying we didn't pay saying I owe three thousand dollars nah man nah nah not today not today I'm I'm not gonna let him do that to me after we rebuilt his crap fuck that bro Keep driving, Andrew! What? Andrew just pulled up for some reason. He got his little buddy with him. <clears throat> Cop coming over here? No. What's up, ma'am? Would you see the cruiser in stock? Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, when I went by the, the first time to get my son, I seen him riding close and then he turned around. Mm -hmm. You all right? Yeah, we're fine. We were working on the car. I was about to leave. Dylan brought his trailer. Uh -huh. And Tony and this fucking dude, I don't know who this guy is, the guy that's living on the property, yeah. just came over here and started talking shit to Dylan. I was like, whoa, 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 who the fuck are you guys talking to? Talking shit about what, though? That he can't put his trailer here. I was like, whoa, whoa, that's that's my business. That's my other business. Me yeah. and my brother own a lawn business together. Yeah. That's his piece of equipment. That's mine, basically. Te yeah. Technically, it's mine. Yeah. yeah. I chose to park it here. I pay 50% of rent. Or I pay rent, I mean. Yeah. That trailer's been here since we've been here. Yeah. But because Dylan was dropping it, he wanted to talk shit, and the black guy wanted to talk crap, and then he started, oh, you got the wrong one. I was like, listen, brother, he... Who, who's the black guy? I don't, I don't know. I guess it's Dew Boy. I don't know. And he's the one that's living in the trailer. Yeah, he's the, the one RV. that's living in the, in the RV. RV. Yeah. And he's like, you got the right one. I was like, come on, bring it, brother. Afghanistan and Iraq didn't teach me anything. You will. Come on. Hey, uh, you got a bag on you? A bag? Not like a plastic bag or anything, but like an actual bag. Oh, don't worry about no, that. I uh, I'm, I just got like a Win Dixie bag no. or a Walmart bag. You have a CWP? Yeah. Go get the keys and go get it. I mean, that's yours. You're yeah. legal. Don't be afraid. Don't be fur. So, anyways, so the guy starts talking. He's yelling. At me. I'm on the phone. So now we call. I call 911 because they're like yelling at Dylan. I was mm -hmm. like, whoa, get the fuck away from my brother. And they're like, they, he's getting up. He's like, take one more step on me. I was like, and what? And what? He's like, oh, you got the right one. I was like, show me. And the dispatcher's like, step away, step away. So I stepped away. And he's yelling at me from across the field while I'm on the phone with the dispatcher. Oh, you got the right one. I'll drag you up. And I was like, brother, I'll, I'll take you down. That's a threat. You got the wrong one, dog. You're going to sit here and threaten me on the property that I'm renting? And I just said that to Tony. I was like, you're over here threatening your tenants? You're threatening your tenants who paid rent. 
Yeah. And then he just stood here just now in front of Asa. I'm not evicting you. It's not me. I don't want to evict you. I want you to stay. It's the company that's evicting you. What company? He, his company. He's full of shit, dog. If it's... Oh. He's full of shit, dude. Right? That's what he said. He's like, it's my company that's evicting you, not yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if it's his company, it's him and his company. Right, right. Just like me, I'm Metro State, me saying, the company's firing you, Drew, yeah. when really it's me firing you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he talks to us like we're stupid. And they're over here telling this deputy whatever he wants to tell. You know, I'm sure they're telling him about the vendor thing and all this fuck shit. What the you fuck know? does that got to do with anything? I totally agree. What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Yeah. What does that have to do with the fact that I paid rent? This is my place until the 31st. So wow. we can sit here and play board games. It's civil. But he's like, oh, we're going to tow his trailer right now. I was like, that's a felony. You can't take my trailer. That's my possession. Yeah. That's my property. Plus, they don't even have towway signs on the front of this fucking field. So you can't tow anything. That's one thing I learned driving trucks. You can park anywhere as long as it doesn't say no parking. Right. There's no no parking signs. There's no towway sign. So you can't tow I don't give a if you're the owner or not i paid rent so this is my legal spot yeah. he's like oh well you're subleasing i was like i'm not subleasing that's my business i own half of it he's parking my trailer here dude's fucking crazy bro and, but here's the thing he just called a, a sergeant from orange county on the cell phone mm -hmm. and he was talking to the sergeant of sector one on the phone so i I'm going I'm to call internal affairs about that because that right there, that doesn't make sense. The fact that he has access to a sergeant, I mean, he can call anyone he wants, but that doesn't authorize to break laws. Yeah, yeah. I know deputies left and right. They all hate me, but I still know them. That doesn't authorize me to break the law. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. He walked up to my car and said, like, I'm like, I'm not here for you. I'm here for Metro. That's what, yeah. And he was t asking Dylan, like, whoa, whoa, Dylan, stop fucking talking. You know, and Dylan wants to, he won't just shut up. I was like, stop fucking talking. Yeah. Hey, Deb. Yeah, Deb. Hey, sorry about that. Nah. So, what's up? What's the problem today? All right, so, we were just working on the car. We weren't even doing anything or talking to anyone or anything. Uh -huh. uh, my brother brought back our trailer, uh -huh. which is part of this business, uh -huh. put his trailer here. They came over and started talking to him and started yelling at him that he can't park his trailer here. They're going to tow his stuff. Uh -huh. uh, and I don't see how we can tow anything. And I went over and I said, you can't tow it. It's it's my vehicle. It's his vehicle. It's this business's vehicle. Uh -huh. I paid rent. I'm here until the third. I don't care what the eviction notice says. I don't, with all due respect to you, I don't know why any sergeant would be allowed to access a personal phone call and then tell you what to do or not to do. This is a civil matter. The process has already been started. He advised that we didn't pay rent. When mm -hmm. we did, we have all the proof that we paid rent, mm -hmm. but that's neither here nor there. Okay. Um, all I do know is is this vehicle is a part of this business. We're here until the what end of the month. Is it? This trailer. Okay, we're, the white trailer over yeah, here? Okay. We're here until the end of the month. Mm -hmm. At the end of the month, then he can do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. At that point, all of our equipment and our vehicles and our gear will be gone. Okay. So there's no sign on the fence that says no towing or no parking. There's no sign on the fence that says vehicles will be parked, towed. Mm -hmm. So this is so, a private so, property. We paid our rent. We have access to this property. I've parked my vehicle here. So, and here's the thing. Sure. So let me tell you how this basically works. This is private property, like you said, right? Right. right. So this is house rules. If the owner says, hey, I don't like the fact that your cars are here, this and that. You got X amount of days to fix it. Right. That's in X his legal right. X amount of days, which is on the contract that says the end of the month, we mm -hmm. have to move out. Yep. But here's what, hear me out. So at this point, he's like, you have X amount of days to fix this. He doesn't have to actually have to have a set amount of days. He can just say, hey, here's a few hours. Take care of your business or I'm just going to tow it. Now, here's the thing. If he tows your vehicle, you're in all your rights to go sue him civilly. Right. Okay. I mean, last thing I want you guys to do is basically, are you guys armed or anything like that? It doesn't matter. <laughs> For my safety, now it does. Right now, no. None of us are zero right okay. now. Okay. 
So basically, don't go in front of your cars with pepper guns or any type of ammunition saying, oh, you ain't gonna tow my shit because then it's another bigger issue that's gonna come out. Okay. Okay. Well, Deputy, I, I understand. I, I hope you're, and you are. So that's great that you're recording, but I hope you advise them the same thing. Yep. But we paid our rent, so our vehicles are allowed to be here. Yep, but again, remember, this is his property. So this is, and that's all I'm telling you, okay? It's his property. At the end of the day, if he says, hey, I don't want you guys here, screw the contract. At some point, this is a civil matter where you, like you said, you have to take this to court, all right? If he tows your vehicles, he's gonna tow your vehicle. My, my, honestly, my honest suggestion, honestly, is this. Just get, park it somewhere else so you don't even have to worry about it. Okay, I mean, it's as simple as that. You guys, what, own Metro State or are you part of Metro State? I'm the owner. Okay. Do you guys have a tow yard or something or a lot or anything like we that? We do have a tow yard. I would just park the trailer next to that. But see, with all due respect to you, and I understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. and I agree with what you're saying, but at the end of the day, I'm not bending for somebody that's lying about us not paying our rent. Okay, but so Jeremy, if I just he feels like he can tow it, he can come and try, and we'll figure it out at that point. And I will tell you this, if it gets to the point where somebody's going to jail, I will be back to take somebody to jail. Right, I understand that. But I'll tell you right now, listen to the, call your dispatcher at 911, because I'm not the one that was threatening while he was yelling at me. This gentleman was threatening okay. over the phone. But there's a whole, so, there's a whole different uh, right. circumstances when it comes to like, hey, he comes to tow the vehicle, and right. now you guys are out with guns, you guys are doing no, something we else. No, we guns, we're good. But if you're stopping the truck from towing the vehicle, that's gonna probably be another issue. Incorrect. Yeah. Florida law, if I say you can't pick up and I'm here with it, they can't take it. Okay. Just letting you know. I mean, honestly, you're just making the situation a lot harder for yourself. I understand. All right, Tony, so you got any ID or anything like that? I, I don't have my wallet on me, but I can tell you my DL number. Cool. But you already know who I am. And your sergeant already advised, so. Who are you? When you run your 28, you'll know. D300. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, 8005. Now give him your suspended number that you. Uh, Don't worry about it. I got it, I got it, brother. I got it. Don't okay. worry about it. Hey, hey. Excuse me. Oh, you were over there when we were talking. Why don't you take your ass back over there? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 Focus that attention on me. We're I not doing you, that today. I We're not doing you, that today. I got you, Dad. Okay? If you want, let's go back over here. Roger. I do not need you to do this today. I agree with you. Come on. Well, don't worry. All the property has video cameras that are all recording all I'm not time. worried about that. Listen, this so, is all I'm telling you. Like I said, this seems like it's a toxic environment for you we, and your business. We're already moving. The thing is, is up until the other day, we didn't even know what was going on. We paid rent every month. I've never missed my bills. I have 35 credit cards. I don't miss my bills. Okay. Okay. I own all these cars. I don't miss my bills. Okay. I paid rent. We actually have video footage of him holding the check up to the camera that we paid rent. Okay. So, but you see what I'm trying to say though, right? Like, uh -huh. honestly, you guys are making an anthill into a mountain right now. And the main reason I say that, yes. So what you're no, saying? No, hear me out. Hear ahead. me out. Go hear ahead. me out. I'm sorry. I don't know how much you're paying for the individual lots to put your vehicles here. I don't know. But what it seems like is basically your game at the end of a deal. So yeah, what I would suggest is this, honestly, you know what? Just say, you know what? Call whoever you need to in the next two days. Get your vehicles out of here. Just say, it. I'm going to see you in court and let's end it there. I agree. But until we can actually finalize our paperwork in other locations, we can't just move our vehicles. Okay. You know, I can't go park at Walmart all my shit. Okay. I have 20 motorcycles in there. Okay. You know, I agree with what you're saying, Deb. I'm not arguing with you. And we, I don't care about what your past is. I don't care about none of that. I literally ask everybody for their DL time. You know what? Time. I met a girl at a bar that had a fake ID. I don't care, sir. So You're good. I don't care. It's That's not your even, problem. It's not even your issue. It was That's blue not battery. Mine. I touched her before we were kissing. That's not my issue today. I understand. My I issue understand. today is this. So, so I and mean, this is the basic understanding, right? <clears throat> They're mad just mostly because the trailer's here. You don't, you know, that you're going to move your vehicle. When you're moving your vehicles? Oh, well, hopefully Monday. Or this Monday? Well, we have to finalize the paperwork tomorrow, so we're hoping by the end of the week. Yeah. Okay. We have until sun, uh, next guys, Tuesday. What do you guys have in the trailer, if you mind me asking? All the lawn equipment. All lawn for equipment? The business. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And there's no other property you guys can like park it at or anything? Not even your own house or anything like that? I, I mean, I can, but then you're, you're asking me to bend to the situation. I mean, not really just bend, but understand this. Like, I mean, you understand where we're at, right? This is Lee Road. It doesn't matter. It's Lee Road, and it's just like people get the ends of the deal but i'm just trying to make sure that you guys don't end up on the side of this yes you guys are losing out on money because you have to move your trailer now to some other location and you think oh this is fucked up this is not fair but what i will say is this take this to court 
honestly tell the judge, hey, A, B, and C. They don't give a shit about your past. There's not, that's not what's on the table right now. A, B, and C. I had a lease to be here. I had this to be here. He told my bill. Right. I want X amount of Z. I can't coach you on that, but what I can tell you is that's the main thing. This seems like it's a toxic environment for you. Right? It is, and that's why we're moving. And that's what I'm saying. Oh. Like honestly, hey, if you can move the truck tonight, if you can move the trailer tonight, you can move the trailer tonight. Um, if you go and the trailer is gone, and he says, "Yeah, I told it." Honestly, you know what you can do? Okay, I'll see you in court. Simple as that. How is that possible though? If it's not posted that you can't park here, and I paid my rent. So again, it's house property. It's like house rent. Basically, as simple as that. It's like, hey, can I leave shit here? You can, but it's still my property. I can tow it if I want to. But we paid rent. Still, and we're not parked illegal. Still. Again, it's his property. And that's just like if you have your own big set of property like this. You don't want people on your shit? Hey, Debbie, I don't want them here. Okay, you guys can tell it. It's as simple as that. You know, so I'm giving you the same thing I gave them, okay? All this in itself just needs to go down to civil court. Right. Simple as that. I mean, is that fair, sir? Because I haven't... It's fair. It's just, I know when you leave, this isn't going to stay the way it is. That gentleman was already threatening me. Again, ask your dime with one dispatcher. So, I mean, he here's the initial me. thing. What so, my job is to de-escalate in itself. Okay. That's why I have you over here. That's right. why I have them over there. Oh, I understand. So, what do you feel is going to happen if you leave the property tonight? You want me to leave? Do you live here? No, but he does. Okay, but no. What would happen if you leave? What do you think is... What is, in the worst case scenario for you, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to tell my... Okay. They told your... That's it? That's the worst case scenario? For me right now. It's not, no, your car is being vandalized. It's not, your cars are missing or anything. It's just, they might tow a trailer. I, I can't answer that question. But yes, that's the idea right now. You see what I'm saying? And I understand, hey, you guys have your business. You guys are just trying to live your life and this and that. Um, we have landlords that are kind of like, hey, you know, I don't want shit here. They believe whatever they want to believe in. But hey, that's their right. Okay, this is their property. They can do what the hell they kind of want. You wrote a contract. Let's be honest. How truthful do you think that contract really is? He can probably change everything tonight and say, hey, okay, I'm Apparently gonna tell you. Apparently that's what's happened. Because so, he's saying we never paid rent. So, but here's the thing. I'm not going to go too deep into that. You guys have a contract. If he doesn't want to honor his side, that's why you have to take him to court. Hmm. You have a copy of your contract, right? Right. Okay. So, so you have a copy of your contract? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, to be clear, because we're being recorded, mm -hmm. you're advising me that although I paid rent, and mm -hmm. although that my, I'm here until the 31st, yep. he's saying he's going to tow my stuff if I don't take it off the property. Yep. So at this point, I'm being told by an Orange County deputy yep. that if I don't tow, tow my stuff off the property right now, it's going to be towed. Nope. I'm not saying I'm going to tow it. No, I know I'm you're gonna not going to tow it. I'm going to say this. To the, tow the owner of this property can tow it. Right. And he's threatening to tow my vehicles even though we paid rent. Again, this is property. So... But he advised you that they're going to tow if I if we don't take it off the property. It's still his property. Right. I'm asking you, is that what he advised you? I can't tell you what he asked me. Okay. Not ask, advise. I can't tell you that. Listen, but again, so if I leave and I come back and I hear that it's another issue going out, we're going to find a reason to say, hey, you know what? We're going to just find this whole entire thing and we're going to tell everybody to leave. You're the only one that's allowed to be here, right? Mm -hmm. If he wants to trespass them on property, you can be trespassed on property. You can be trespassed on property. Okay? So basically, even though your vehicles are here, technically when you come into the property, you live here, right? Mm -hmm. You will basically just come right here. I'm not trying to do all that. I'm not trying to put you in more situations than you need to be put in, okay? This seems like a simple situation where, hey, I don't want to bend that I paid my money. I did this. I did that. I completely understand, okay? I'm trying to tell you an easy situation of... I'm going to just get a rig, I'm going to just get a truck or whatever you need to get, get your vehicle, get your trailer, and just take it somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's as simple as that. I mean, honestly, that's as simple as it gets. People turn these things into mountains when it's literally like, no, I did this, I did that. Honestly, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because somebody's going to have to pay for it, right? right? He tows your vehicle, tow yard's going to say maybe 450 whatever. Um, You can literally get your vehicle back, right? It's gonna take you about what, maybe two or three days to get your vehicle back. While if I have to come back out here and everybody's saying allegations about this and that, okay, now we're gonna go deeper into this. Now we're gonna have to figure out more stuff. Now we're gonna have to do more. My job here is to de-escalate. I know you don't like what you, I'm telling you. I know you don't. But again, at the end of the day, listen, at the end of the day, this is his property. 
this is his property you guys have a civil contract this is a civil matter and i'm suggesting to you personally just like hey you know what i'm gonna you take my vehicle because i feel like he's gonna tow it my trailer and just move it myself okay and i mean that's as simple as it gets yes, okay. you have any more questions for me any more anything i can help you out with no definitely okay sorry do you have anything uh, well what i uh, need a case number uh, I can give you a vet number. It's not. Uh, and number. I understand the vet number. I need your name and number or ID number because I can guarantee you that when we sue, we're going to ask you to come in. So, I understand. And okay. you say what you're saying. All right. I but, mean, you can ask me to come in. It's whatever. It's the same thing. Sir, do you need anything from me? No. Okay. Sir, do you need anything from me? Card. Card? Yep. What? No, just tell it to my house. Move the. I don't want to hold your house. I need to. Um, I need to go back to the truck and tow it over? Yeah, just tow it to my house. This has been the worst decision ever. Moving here has been the worst decision ever. And this fucking guy talking. Ah, uh, dude, I can't. I'm so over there, bro. I, I bit my tongue every time. He sat there and lied. He sat there and changed the locks on you guys. He sat there and shut the power off and the cable off. He's he's now he's threatening to tow the stuff my vehicles. Every rule and every law that a landlord is not allowed to oh, how about he violated by using my application to come to my house and threaten me and my wife? Every law a landlord's not allowed to violate, he's done. And for some reason, the cops aren't fucking doing a thing about it. Every f***ing law when it comes time to a rental agreement. Because he doesn't have a gun, he came to my house and I'm not supposed to be afraid of him. Yeah, he's still showing up. He showed, I mean, he showed up at the house and threatened me and Rania. Rania was scared as fuck. And that's why I just... Mm. This And I've been biting my tongue and standing at ease and just... And I can't do anything about it. And if I take anything down, I can't sue for my money back. But I don't want to leave a single thing here for him. But what am I going to do with a bunch of fucking pit? Yeah. <laughs> All this, from what I, I don't know everything, but as soon as that got put up and that got fixed nah, up, it that's was, when shit started. No, I know. As soon as the construction start, stopped, he started pulling that shit. Yeah. He, it, that's exactly what my lawyer's saying. He's saying that is uh... all right that's where the video ends right there so you see how jeremy's always the victim no matter what he doesn't pay he's, uh, he's messing up the property he's taking over the property parking vehicles everywhere and you know if anybody complains you know it's not jeremy's fault so and it, all law enforcement's always involved so thanks for watching police tube i appreciate it make sure you like this video if you like watching jeremy do videos because i got more so more likes the more I know that you guys want to see this video. Make sure you're subscribed, comment down below, and also check the links in the description. If you want to help support what I'm doing here on PoliceTube, uh, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. If you want to join as a member, it directly goes to helping release more Jeremy DeWitt content. And also my 1-800 number is in the description as well if you want to give me a call. Let me know what you're thinking. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a great day.